Demetrius AJ, and I'm here at Snack. Whenever I'm done having a tremendous day working out and I need to get a deep sleep, I go to ZMA. Hey everybody, Marcos Viegas here with the trainer of Errol Spence, Derek James. And Derek, 30 days away where your man steps in the ring and makes his pay-per-view debut against Mikey Garcia. How's camp been so far and what work is yet to be done in camp? Camp has been great, man. I mean, like from, from the day before we even started, he was sparring 14, 15 rounds. So he was in pretty decent shape. Now, so with a, with, a, with a basis like that, we build from that, right? And make it better. And we work on so much about technique, skill set, and everything else. He mentioned to me that he's keeping the same sparring partners and he feels that he gets good work there and there's no need to change that. People watching this may think like, hey, well, why not bring in a smaller guy to mimic the size of Mikey or a guy who's a little bit quicker to mimic what he's gonna see in the ring. What's your take on that? The smaller guys can't take the power. So the reason why we have the bigger guy because he can endure the power and kind of keep, keep coming back, you know, and fight and work, work. So the smaller guy, can't take the power. That's basically what it is. That's why we don't support smaller guys. We support bigger guys. The speed and time and all comes with, we work on that constantly. So, like I said, I don't think Mikey's super, super fast, but he has hand speed. He has great timing, and timing is better than speed anyway. Because, you know, regardless of how fast you are, you can't judge your distance and all the other things, but timing sets everything up great. So that's what he does have, and that's what we focus on. So how do you prepare for a guy who has great timing in camp? Well, you just, I can't tell you that, but I just. <laughs> but, you don't have to tell me the game plan, but in general. Well, you just, well, you, it's all about, you have, first of all, visualize it. You have to be able to be present, because you have to be able to know what he's trying to set you up for. And what's funny, I, we were doing an interview just over there, and I had a, a epiphany, so I'm going some, to somewhat add to the game plan. So. It's great that you think about his time, you think about his greatness, you think about what you have to do to negate those things. Sparring partners, who are the sparring partners? We spar with the guy, um, Adrian Taylor, which we spar with all the time. He's like a 200-pound guy. We spar with uh, Thomas Hill. And every now and then we spar with um, Amon, what's his name? Um, Amon Rashidi. He's, a, he's fighting on the card also. So Thomas Hill and the Mama she did fighting on the card. Those guys are. So, and uh, those are the guys we work with. Very good, very technical, very skilled. Thomas is fast. Because you don't have to be smaller to have the speed. Adrian Taylor is very good with counter punching. He's very good with, very technical. And then uh, Rashid is a really all around good fighter. Dang, he's sparring really big guys. And he's able to hold his own, right? right. Huh? He's able to hold his own arrow with yeah, the bigger the guys. Bigger guys able to hold his own. Oh, so so he wrecks the bigger guys. Come on, man. Well, yeah, well, come on. <laughs> I'm not saying he wrecks them, but we don't want to say that. I just want to say he Errol Spence is going to be Errol Spence, and that means that he's going to be himself. You know what I mean? And um, yeah, we spot bigger guys always, no matter what, because the smaller guys cannot take the power, the, the shots to the body, and it breaks them down. So you know, it's like, so that's the difference. So do you think that plays a part in the fight, that over the course of 12 rounds, the bigger guy, Errol, is going to be breaking down the smaller guy naturally, Mikey, by what you're saying, because he's a smaller guy? Not in particular, but what it, what it does is that it's, it's, at the same time you swore a bigger guy, it helps you with your fortitude. Because you think about it, the harder you punch him, the harder you hit him, he's not falling, he's not going anywhere. So you just keep on chopping and chopping and chopping. And it, it helps you with your conditioning, it helps you to continue to up. Keep pushing on and keep it doesn't take away from his aggressiveness. He keeps chopping and chopping and chopping. So I think that's what you need as a smaller guy being in the ring. So it's say hypothetically if Mikey doesn't go down on one or two, three, four, it's twenty or thirty punches just constantly over and over over time. So it's where you just keep that fortitude, keep that focus and keep it building. How have you seen the motivation for Arrow coming into this fight, seeing that it's his pay per view debut? Well, I mean you see it from initially before camp started when he like I said, for 14, 15 rounds before even camp started. How you see, everybody see it. Look at his weight. You see how, he, how big he was before to where he is now. I mean, so his focus is great. His condition is great. His body's great. I mean, he's working and he's doing phenomenal. 